Three, two, one. Whoa! Whoa! Hello, I have a panini maker right over here, and we're going to panini everything. Technically, you can panini anything. So, if you don't know what a panini is, it's really simple. You take an Italian sandwich of some kind, and then you just flatten it and toast it in a panini maker right here. Thus, you get a panini. So we're gonna put that right here. We're gonna have to press it. The cool thing about the panini maker is it's designed to press, okay? When you push down, there's a mechanic for the maker itself to press down even more. While we wait for the panini to panini, I bought some more panini makers so we can panini more things. So let's start it, shall we? Here are 10 things you should panini. Hacks, experiment, algorithm. While we wait for this panini to panini, we're gonna go ahead and use this. This is just sandwich and cheese. It's going to become panini grilled cheese. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna press it just like that. Watch it, watch it press. Ooh. Oh. There you go. And then on this side, it's gonna be a little bit crazy. We have some pizza. We're just gonna do one large slice, or maybe half a slice like this. Or actually, you know what would be innovative? If you fold it in half like this, and we have a pizza panini sandwich, all right? We're gonna just go like that, and let it do its thing. It's been about five minutes, and just listen to this, all right? Come here, microphone, listen. So let's check out the regular one. This is just a regular Italian sub. This is how you make a panini, okay? Really, really simple. This is the basic panini. All right, one side looks like that. Look at that. So that's just a regular panini. So let's cut this open right here. The good thing about panini is it's so like flat. It's really, really easy to eat. It just fits in your hand more. <laughs> Yummy. Oh, it's hot. Mm. It's crispy. Crunchy. If you look in the back, you see um, this grilled cheese just kind of <laughs> overflowing through the back. Let's check out this grilled cheese. Oh my gosh! Okay, so for grilled cheese, don't put too much cheese, I guess. And if you do, just time it to where the cheese is <laughs> like super molten. Here we go. So grilled cheese, or should I say grilled panini cheese? Grilled cheese nini. Ooh, look at that. Flop it out. So it's a little bit ugly, but you know, you can kind of scrape the cheese out of this one and just kind of put it like this. Look at that. I mean, either way, if you fold it, kind of eat it like that, it looks very, very appetizing. Mmm. 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 So my advice, if you have to invest between an appliance, waffle maker versus panini maker, panini maker all the way. It just cooks it really, really nicely. I don't, I don't understand. That's really, wow. Last but not least, this is the one I've been waiting for. The pizzanini. What's he look like? Oh my gosh. That looks so good. Kind of looks like a quesadilla. All right, you open the flaps here. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so unhealthy. Oh, that's so good though. Close it, you get the perfect crunchiness on the outside. Flip it over. It's gonna be a perfect crunchiness on this side as well. So let's bite it right here. Mmm. 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 Yo, let's give this video to four likes if you want me to start a pizza nini restaurant, okay? I'm gonna open it up here in Idaho. Oh, that's where we are. Wait, cut that. Don't put it on the camera. All right, so that was round one of the panini makers. Hold on, hold on. I went ahead and bought some more panini makers. So we have five panini makers. We're gonna start off with some regular patties. There's gonna be no things around it, no buns, no nothing. I wanna see what happens when you actually just panini something by itself. Same for this one, we have some cinnamon rolls. This is probably going to be really, really great. Wow. Let's take two of those, squash it like this. You just have a regular hamburger, lettuce, cheese, mustard, mayo, lettuce, onions. And I want to do this experiment where we have pancake batter. If this were a waffle maker, you put pancake batter into a waffle maker and mix waffles, okay? Will that do the same thing if you put it inside of a panini maker? Make sure it's here. 
put a long line, just like this. Last but not least, we're gonna do something simple. We have your regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Mimi. All right, it's been about one minute, and I'm pretty sure this cinnamon roll is, oh my. Wow, this panini roll is looking good. As you can see, this is a panini cinnamon roll. Let's give it a shot here. Mm. Oh, one of the best investments, in my opinion, a panini maker. All right. Wow. Ooh, look at that. So this patty is unseasoned, which is um, which is fine. You know, salt is really bad for you. So let's open it up. Let's see how cooked it is on the inside. Wow. It cooked it really well on the inside. Let's see how it tastes though. This is good. I'm gonna go to the burger now. I love this thing because it cooks, it cooks everything in like two minutes. So this, um, this looks like a pancake. Okay, so this burger, this is what it looks like. If you open it, I kind of messed up the bottom, so don't, don't mind the bottom. I'm pretty sure it tastes amazing. Mmm, that's good. Wow. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Oh, mmm. The outsides, look at that. Look how nice the outsides are. Give it a shot here. Mmm, <coughs> good. We put the pancake batter in there. Did it do well making a pancake? Let's find out. Three. Two, one. Whoa! No way! You can make pancakes? Look how nice this turned out. Wow! Look, this is the nicest looking pancake. Look how, look at that. It's so, it's so stable. Like, oh my goodness. Let's try it out though. Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, you can make some good stuff with this. You can technically use this as a bun. Put some of the patties here. There you go, let me just crush this up a little bit like this. All right, you can make your own little burger here. So I put all the burger stuff in there, put a patty in there, close it up like this. Oh my gosh, look at this. And then just put it inside just a little bit longer. Okay, let's do that. Probably you let it sit there for like, you know, a good 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. And then you have yourself a deliciously Good looking burger. Hmm. Yo, I think I invented something amazing there. Pancake batter, burger buns. Welcome to the third batch of panini stuff. We're gonna start with the salmon, okay? We haven't done seafood yet. Bacon, if you put bacon in a panini maker, it's gonna be really, really crispy. Next up, we have some hash browns. This is going to be good. I already have a good feeling about this one. Next up, we're gonna use this cookie dough. And then we have a pancake and a waffle, okay? Which one of these do you think will cook better? Comment down A for waffle or capital A for pancake. Did you see that? Go back to the timestamp 222, let me know what you see. Okay, this uh, five minutes have passed. Let's check out the salmon. Sa Ooh, this one looks good. Let's kind of give it a taste test here. Let's check out the back. Ooh, the back's looking good. A little bit crispy here. Mmm, yup. It's kind of juicy still on the inside, which is good. I like my, my salmon juicy. All right, moving on to the bacon. Oh, oh wait, wait, what's underneath the bacon? That, that wasn't there before. Wow, it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. All right, the hash browns, I'm super excited for this one because this, this one's gonna be a little bit delicious here. Oh, oh, okay. All right, that was very underwhelming to be honest. I thought it was gonna be more like majestical. I thought it was gonna make some noise. They diffuse together really well actually. Check this out, I'm gonna do my best to get it out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, look at these hash browns. And you know what else is good with hash browns? These bacons, okay? Ooh, that's why I did this. So you can put the bacon on top of the hash browns, just like that. And then from this hash brown, what you can do is flip it over 
like this. Oh, yes. Just like that. And then reapply it, and we'll wait for this to cook even more. Oh, <laughs> cookie, 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 cookie. <laughs> what happened? Kind of turned into a brownie here. Okay, all right, that still works. Mmm, okay, I burnt it. So don't leave it there for too long. It's gonna taste like fire. The waffles and the pancakes. So did you comment down below A or capital A to see which one looks better? Well, what I did off camera it was I mixed together more pancakes and more waffles together. Let's see if they fuse well. Ooh. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Okay, let's take, wow. Let's check out this, this is gonna be let me see if I can slide it. Oh, let's give it a bite, shall we? This is the dessert round, the very last cherry on top round, okay? So we have here some watermelon. Timestamp 530, let me know what you see. Comment down below what you saw. Next up we have some Twinkies. Okay, let's, let's see if we can line it up like this. I'm sure this will be really good. Next up, we're gonna put some slime. We're gonna have something weird. You can grab this at Target. This is my new slime. This is the luscious lava slime. It comes in a bucket. Three pounds of slime in here. We already pre-made it. It kind of gives you a good feel of lava. Check out this. It has some lava rocks, some red glitter here to add some effect. Look at that. There you go. Closes up like that. On this side, we're gonna have some brownies, okay? Now last but not least, we have some Oreos. Let's see how well these watermelons look. Okay, there you go. Nothing too crazy. Kind of looks like the salmon from earlier. How are the Twinkies looking today? Oh! Kind of looks good. Like a... I think this is ready, honestly. It's good! <laughs> what do you think happened to the Oreos? Do you think they're, they're the same or are they different? <laughs> they're the same! The brownies are probably gonna be the most interesting looking one, in my opinion. Without looking at it, let's give this some. Oh my gosh! It looks like a brownie with lines now. That's kind of cool. Last but not least, the luscious lava slime from Target that you can go grab. Let's see what it is. Oh, do you hear? Where'd it go? Stay juicy.